once reigning, according to a authentic narration, it is a moment of barakah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts any supplications. When we make any sort of dua to Allah, Allah accepts. There is so much to speak about, but I'll mention one small story, story of the great-grandson of the Prophet wasallam, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq. He's known as Sadiq because even by mistake, he did not lie in, in his life. He was, uh, he was one of the pillars of, when it comes to hadith, he was one of the pillars of authentic hadith. A man came to Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq and said, Oh Imam, I make dua to Allah, but Allah does not answer my duas. So Imam Ja'far looked at him and said to him, It is because you don't know who Allah is. Allah is not a miser that he gives something to you and he will become poor. If somebody comes to you, and no matter how poor you are, and they ask for one pea, even if you're poor, you can give one pea, one pence is nothing. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever he gives something to you, it's much less than that. It doesn't mean anything to Allah when he gives it to you. It doesn't decrease his kingdom, nor does he become proud of himself by giving it to you. It means nothing to Allah. So he looked at him and he told him this that make dua to Allah, know who Allah is, because he is not a miser. And a very beautiful ayah which really gives strength to the heart is in Surah Duha. At the end of the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching the Prophet some manners. He's teaching us as well. And he says, وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ That when someone comes to you and asks you for something, don't refuse him. Don't leave him empty-handed. Give him what he is asking for. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching the Prophet ﷺ this manner, that if someone comes to you, don't refuse. So imagine him. Do you really think if you go to Allah, you ask him, he will refuse? So this is what Imam Jafar said to this man. And he understood who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is.